Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you uh, how to create dynamic menu in uh, ASP.NET Core. So here we have an example like just create a new uh, menu items. So first of all, just I'm going to create home and URL is like Amazon.com and parent ID is none. So by default, the parent ID is none. So here we have a home. You can see that and there is a no item in the home. So just I want to create a new uh, home item. So just I want to use news and the URL is uh, looking like uh, http again amazon.com slash news and the parent ID is none. Just I want to set it here. So here we have you can say um, that is the second item news. Just I want to create a third item uh, inside the news and what types of the news you have to prefer like that politics. Okay, so just the URL is like news slash politics and the menu item is news, just I want to set it. So just create it and you can see that here we have a politics. So uh, if you want to create a new one like uh, create and uh, uh, inside in you can see. So just I want to set it another like uh, blog. And URL is like Amazon blog, like blog, and I just I want to set none it. Here you can see that uh, home news blog and etc. So there is the similar items, and just you can see that in the status bar, news politics, and news is news, and home is home. Okay, that is URL specific. And how to create a dynamic uh, menu in ASP.NET Core looking like this? So uh, just go into the Visual Studio first of all, stop debugging and the first item that is the model you can say. So, so here we have a model that is ID that is the key property of your menu item. Parent ID, parent ID I mean to say that uh, you can see that under the news uh, you have to see the politics. So uh, the parent ID is news. Okay, so uh, parent ID is one and two you can say that because the one is the home and two is the news so parent id is two you can say so display text that is news and you can say that politics and url is specific uh, related to your uh, display text like news um, to uh, msn slash news and politics is slash news slash politics so that that is a url and here we have a top level items i mean to say that the top uh, here we have a top level items. So top level items, I mean to say that root level, a list of the root level, like a home, like a news, like blog, that is the top level items. And their children's, I mean to say, children's is related to your uh, uh, politics under the news. So this is the, that is the related to the children. Okay. So here we have the uh, model in the menu items. So just I want to set, uh, that is the next uh, topic that that you want to uh, say just you want to add it in the ASP.NET Core. So that is the application DB context. In the application DB context just add public DB set menu items. That model you can say that is the menu, menu item. Okay so just assign in, into the menu items you can just uh, migrate your project and you can say that your database table is created like menu items okay so menu item is created now just go into the controller section in the uh, in the controller section just add a new controller that is the menu items controller and here you can say that first of all the first thing remember it that is you you can add application db context uh, looking like that private app db context underscore context and in the constructor, you can just define, uh, just you can assign context looking like this menu item controls app db context context and context. Okay, everything is assigned. Now, in the next topic, just I want to display all the menu items with their children. Okay, so before going to this, just I want to set to create. I want to create a new menu item. So, uh, that is the HTTP post. Uh, just I want to create that is the HTTP get. So here we have a model that is menu item. In the model, you know that we have lots of options. 
In the menu item, we have parent ID also, display text, URL, top level items, and children. So, if you want to fill the first thing that is display text, I mean to say that form, there is a no parent ID, so parent ID is null, URL is like Amazon.com. So, the create section is uh, okay. So, the create section is top level menu items. What is the top level menu items uh, in the HTTP get method of the create? Get all menu items. First of all, get all menu items in the top level items. So, uh, the first item is the home. Okay, so that is the root. So, get all members, uh, all menu items. You can say context.menuitem.to list. There is a no list written it. So, item is zero the first time. Okay. <coughs> so, items.select parent ID is none. Distinct, I mean to say that a duplicate is not allowed. So, where the first item is, you can say that written top level item is zero. So, top level items have an zero. So, just go for the model. I mean to say that menu item to create section. So, here we have a view and menu items and just go to the create. And here we have a only menu item. Just I want to create a display text, URL and the parent ID. Parent ID is display all the top level menu items. So for the first time, the top level menu item is none. So there is a no uh, text display in the select list. Looking like that, just I want to display it. If I want to, uh, if you uh, first, uh, first of all, just delete all these data. Okay, so first of all, clear all these data. Oops. Okay, so so now you can say that the that is the first item you can say. So here we have the code. So uh, you can say in index.cshtml file in the menu controller, and here we have a top level items. Uh, that the first time uh, when we get all me uh, menu items, get all menu items, the top level items is null. So here you can say that uh, there is nothing right here. And the first of all, uh, just I want to set home. Okay, so so the first item I want to set it here home and URL is like Amazon.com and the parent ID is null. So the top level menu item is null first time. The second time I will wait and uh, get it now. So just create it and you will see that here we have a home is created. So the home is created. So just I want to check the index action method. So here we have context menu item dot to list. I mean to say that form is there. So um, build menu tree according to their child children and uh, root items. So build menu tree in which you can just pass menu item right here. Okay. So inside in the build menu tree, here we have a list of menu items. I mean to say that only home is there. So menu map is what and root items is what. So new dictionary menu items. What is the menu items? That is the class and root items. Uh, that is the list of menu items. Okay. So for the first item is home is there in the menu item. So the first item is home in the menu item. So I mean to say that display text is there. So menu item, menu item dot ID in the menu map according to the dictionary and that. So uh, you can say that one and the menu item, menu map inside it menu item dot ID that is one. So menu item dot menu map of one is menu item. Okay. And the next one is for each for the again menu item uh, for the menu items. So the what is the parent ID? Menu item dot parent ID is null. Yes, that is the null. So if it is null, then root items dot add menu item. So the root items is set. That is the home. Okay. So uh, else is not there. So just return the root items. So here we have just written the root items. That is home. Just I want to return it. So uh, root items actually. So root items is written in the model that is the menu item that is the home. Okay, second time, just I want to create it again. Create and here I'm just going to set use and the URL is again just set it and the, there is nothing. So just create it again. We have a news, so uh, you can check it in the list uh, in the index. Here we have a two item in the menu items that there is the home and there is a news. So menu items is there again we have to call build menu tree. So here we have two items in the menu items 
So the first is the home, the second one is the user. So that is created again. And here we have menu item, that is the two items. Okay. So according to menu map, menu item dot id one. Okay, for each for the menu item, you just pass for the home and just pass for the menu item that is two. So, so menu map have two items in the menu map. And in the root items, just I'm going to set menu items dot the first item menu items dot parent id is null yes for the home is parent id is null so root items dot add that is the home second time the menu item in the menu items so that is the second time that is news so parent id is null so root items is set that is menu item so home and news is set in the root item so just return it again and display what that is display home and news okay third time just i'm going to set create again and I want to create uh, politics okay so URL is the same but just I want to set news as a parent item so just create it when I create it you can see that there we have a politics under the news so just I want to set in, again index so here you can say that the parent ID is set for the news build menu tree again so here we have a menu item what is uh, how many items there is a three items that is a home uh, news and politics so the first in the menu item menu items menu item dot id is what that is one two and three and set the menu map according to the according to the menu items that is the home news and politics so menu map is created according to the integer and dictionary items but the root items is what root items is menu the first item menu item dot parent id is null yes for the home is null so add in the root items that is home second time that is the news so parent id is also null so root items dot add home and news is added in the root items the third third time that is politics so politics is dot parent id is not null is not null so just here we have inside the menu map you can say that menu map dot try head value get the value of the uh, parent id you can say so menu item that is the menu item dot parent id that is the two parent id is two because politics is uh, under the under the news so parent id is two dot value so here we have that is the two so menu map dot try get menu map is what that is the integer type of items and here we have a menu item just i want to pass it so parent id is two and the parent menu item parent menu item i mean to say that uh, <coughs> you can say parent uh, what is the parent menu item that is you can say uh, it's a type of variable you can say so parent menu item is the menu item okay so parent menu item dot children dot add that is the menu item that is the politics just i want to set so, so parent menu item is two that is the parent uh, menu id is two so according to the two here we have there is the item list so in inside in the parent menu item here we have a news if you can say because item id is two so parent menu item there is the item so dot children dot add just i want to add it new children dot add children is what children is actually here we have a menu items class here we have a children so here we have okay so uh, in the controller section again so just i want to parent menu item dot children dot add that is the menu item okay so children is added it's looking like that so each and every children display like that okay okay so uh, very well now the next one is how to create it how to create what is this so you can say that uh, when i create blog when i create politics so looking uh, here we have a get action method so get all menu items uh, so get all menu items get all menu items i mean to say that home and news so context menu items or to list home and news is there in the items item dot select i dot parent id parent id is uh, that is the one and two dot distinct that is the not duplicate where id is id dot has value okay dot select id dot id value i mean to say that one and two okay filter out any items that we have parent id so top level items is items dot where 
items.pf parent id dot contain id dot id it's not uh, not contain okay so not contain uh, in the top level item just just assign one and two in the top level items so for the first time so the display list is visible like this in the top menu items so here we have a display list the home and politics and and you can see that home and politics is there but news is not there why because uh, you can see uh, here we have a top level items items dot where parent id dot contain that is parent it's not contain so you can say that it's not under a home is the uh, you can say that under but it's not under the news because the parent id is already assigned for the politics okay so very well now just go for the next section that is the create just for the top level items you can see here we have a top level items menu dot top level items to display the text uh, in the drop down list and here we have an index section matter which is like that to display all the items and respective children are also display so the first thing is to display the text for the root level items dot url and the second one uh, second one is children is there so a web child in item dot children so each have item in the model have a children okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to php dot support and if you want to code just join my channel and you will get the code only uh, only channel member can get the code